Hey game devs, I'm Kyle, the founder of Bash.gg, and today we're just going to go over uh, some settings we recommend for exporting your game to web. So I'll jump over here. We have our uh, Unity um, project open here. Uh, we're going to jump first into the build settings, just file build settings here. We'll want to make sure that we're set for the WebGL platform, so we see the correct settings here. Texture compression, we just want to use default. If it's set on development build, make sure to uncheck that. And then speed op code optimization and code generation, we both want to set uh, to speed. Faster runtime is what we're looking for here. We'll jump over into the player settings. Um, when we open the player settings, we should open to this view. We'll want to make sure some of this stuff is set. Uh, you know, your company name, product name, things like that. Um, and then there's no icon for WebGL, but we'll jump into the resolution and presentation. We'll want to ensure that uh, this is set to minimal. We don't want this not very aesthetically pleasing uh, thing on the outside of our game. Uh, luckily with Bash.gg, we stretch your game to fill the screen. So you won't need uh, the, the helper button here for full screen. Usually you want to allow your game to run in the background. Uh, we'd recommend that. And then height and width uh, depends on uh, your game. So our game is an, uh, a vertical game versus a horizontal game. Um, so we have it set with a higher height. In terms of splash image, this is kind of all up to you. Um, we're going to remove the Unity logo uh, because we don't find it to be interesting for the user. Um, we'd recommend adding your own logo, of course, if you uh, haven't already. And so we'll come back here later and we'll add bash.gg. We're going to skip other settings. Uh, most of this default should be correct. One thing that we want to make sure is that we're stripping out engine code, um, which will size down our project a lot for the engine code that we aren't using. Um, but everything else here uh, as default uh, should be correct. We'll go into publish settings. This is where things get a little bit more interesting. Um, this default is set to explicitly uh, thrown in exceptions only. Um, we'll want to set that to none. Uh, no exceptions will make it run smoother. Um, compression format, we'll set that to broadly. That's where we're going to get the best compression uh, that is enable that is available default um, built into Unity, uh, as well as browsers default um, decompress broadly, uh, which is great. So broadly will work well. Um, this doesn't matter. Uh, data caching is good. That can be checked. And then debug symbols, uh, we'll set that to off. Um, and then decompression fallback is an optional field. There's a, about 5% of browsers that do not support, or 5% of the people who use browsers use browsers that don't support uh, broadly. And so in that case, you can include your decompression fallback. Now, that being said, that will increase the size of your ultimate build. So we'll close out of that. That should all default save. And then we'll run build and run. Uh, and you can save your build anywhere you'd like to. We'll just save it in the project folder. We're going to replace uh, the build that we previously created. And then it will build. And that's it. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment in the Medium post. Or if you're finding this video somewhere else, don't be afraid to visit bash.gg uh, and you'll find further help there. Thanks.